Tonight, a former Warner Robins police chief is in jail again. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Lori Johnson. And I'm Frank Malloy. The GBI arrested George Johnson last week on child sexual abuse charges. Anthony Montalto joins us in studio with more on tonight's top story and on Johnson's earlier conviction. Yeah, Frank Glory, the 79 year old was arrested Thursday morning. According to a GBI press release, Johnson's charges include sodomy and sexual exploitation of a child. Now the GBI says all this started in 2022 and happened in Houston County and Pulaski County. According to that GBI news release, someone filed a complaint with the Houston County Sheriff's Office alleging Johnson abused the teenage girl. Now the Sheriff's Office asked for the GBI's help since the alleged crimes happened in two different judicial circuits. Johnson was Warner Robins police chief in the late 80s and early 90s until he went to jail for another crime. Now we went back in our archives from 1993 to see what folks in town had to say at the time. Hate it from. You got to do their time. Maybe they get out and try again. It's awful that it happened. That's all I can say. It's pretty much cut and dry. I think it got what they deserved. Now, according to these court documents, a jury convicted Johnson of attempting to obstruct city business, extortion and lying before a federal grand jury in 1993. He was sentenced along with then Mayor Edward Martin and Police Major Gary Frost for recording a council member in a quote compromising position with a woman who was not his wife. The documents go on to say the three used the video to blackmail the council member to try and get him to step down. Here's Johnson in 1993 reacting to his sentencing. Were you surprised at the severity of the prison term? <laughs> To say the least, yes. Yeah, I was surprised. Now, as for the most recent charges, the GBI says they are still under investigation and they would not release any additional information. I requested a copy of Johnson's arrest warrant from the Housing County Magistrate Court, hoping to learn more, and I haven't gotten it yet. Back to you. Hi, right, thanks, Anthony. Houston County District Attorney William Kendall says he'll likely prosecute Johnson with Oconee District Attorney Tim Vaughn's office. Both said they couldn't comment since the case is still pending and the GBI is still investigating.